Oh, they molded it in a single piece. Oh, I missed that. The whole, the whole body and the wings and everything is molded in a single piece. At least they, they could have raised the surfaces on the inside a little more, I think. Would have covered up these big old gaps on the front a little better. They could have raised that. Like, it, it is raised. There is texture in there. But they could have raised it a little more. Ha-ha! Poo-poo-poo-poo. Oh yeah, by the way, Bandai America, when you put diecast metal on the top of something, it has a tendency to fall over. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. By the way, how many of you are missing the... Why was that... Why was this little tab thingy molded in, gr molded in red? Or was why wasn't it molded as part of the tail? It's a separate little piece in there. Why is it a separate piece? You guys are stupid. Um, anyway, as I was going to say, how many of you have the initial uh, piece here missing? Decals or painted? Uh, painted! The tail is painted. That's one thing I always missed about the original Megazord. I was expecting decals. Obviously, the end of the tail wouldn't have had it because it was hollow. But, like, why couldn't they have painted it up if... Not saying I'm going to, but if I ever get this, like, repainted and cleaned up and whatever it is, you know, another 20 from years from now or something like that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have somebody paint that up. Maybe Repro Labels has it, because I don't think the original Daijujin had uh, decals on here, because they didn't, they didn't really substitute decals. It's, they changed them. Like, they changed this, and they changed this, and this, and that, but they didn't actually remove decals. Nothing was taken away from this. But, but yeah, I always notice that with the tail. That thing right there. Oh, wow. That's, that's a solid click. Okay. Why does that turn all the way? It didn't have to. Bend Air America being lazy. Just lazy. Like, don't let it do that. All you gotta do is make it go click, and then click right there, and then done. But no, they're just doffed. Boy, that's a very loose click right there. I can barely feel that. Because there's no reason for the legs to go forward. See? Legs can't go forward. See? Why, why do they go forward? It's lazy. I scratch it right there. The problem I had with the mammoth... Or master. I always called it the Mastodon. I know it was always the Mammoth, but the problem I had with the Mastodon is the trunk always came off, and you know this happened to your Megazord as well. Well, okay, two things I had wrong with it. One, the trunk always popped off. They, they could have found a way around that. And the other thing is, why is the head gray? Like, it's very distinctly... Like, the original one, it was a dark... Why is this gray? Like, this is light gray, this is dark gray. The hell? Why was this... Why was the head on the Mastodon gray? I never got that. Even on the original one. I never got that. So, why is that gray? I don't get that. Nice! They painted the vents on the back. Nice! Oh, I love that click. Nice click there. Oh, you can't make him stand upright anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Double standard. The original Tyrannosaurus legs... You could fold them all the way forward if you wanted to. These, you can only fold to here because of the peg thing right there. I'll get to that. Well, I suppose if the peg is there, then there isn't, there, there wasn't really much choice, so. Eh, I suppose. Wait, does that ratchet? Nope, does not. Click. Alright, no ratchet, but I can live with that. Oh, wow, the head bends all the way forward. That's weird. Huh. You know, Tyrannosaurus are supposed to run around like this. So, yeah, he's really going to run around like this. Yeah, it's, it's really going to stand up right doing that. Oh, I don't care. 
And then there's a restriction on the jaw. The jaw used to be able to open all the way. Now it only opens that far. Why? Why didn't you take that jaw thing and put it there? Yeah. Because it doesn't need to go that far. And by the way, you probably would have actually have saved a little decals along the inside there. Very classy. You see, this thing is all set and ready, ready to go to be the, uh, the was it the Mega Dragon Zord? Dragon Zord in fighting mode. Jesus, that name. It's all set up. Like, why don't they just do it? Just do it. Do it. Do it now. Hmm. Not bad. How are you supposed to stand this thing up? I'm going to go to the shooting shelf, which is right behind me. Wow. Barely. It barely stands up. If it wasn't for the little heel spurs... Whoa. And even then, the little heel spurs. Okay. Um... Could they have done it differently? If the neck had been die-cast metal, it would have balanced it out a little. Maybe. Or maybe if the whole head had been die-cast metal. Like, like if the red... Or maybe the jaw... Or, yeah, let's just say if the, if the red part of the head had been die-cast metal, that probably would have balanced it out a bit. But this thing is is back-heavy. Or... Yeah, it, it's actually back-heavy, which is weird. Yeah, um, I guess. Considering it was the most poseable Zord we've had in quite some time. All right. It's it's the spirit of the things that count is what counts, though. And by the way, that's going to be fun to put that on there. It's the spirit of these things that's really important. I th I, I think they're getting it across. The proportions are not something that really bugs. I think I think the biggest proportion issue is probably on this thing. This is probably the one that has the biggest issue because well, if you put Daikon's metal up on top, by the way, it will fall over. But that was my father again. But I don't think proportions is the issue. Although this tail is kind of uh, wussy, I guess. Eh, or tail doesn't bother me too much. It's nice they gave him a red ass now. That was that was something that was also... I also noticed that on the original one as well. It didn't bother me, but just I noticed it was different. Hmm. Attack tag mode time. Rangers, combine all your Zords together to form the Mega Thunder Zord, which is probably one of the greatest... Um, errors in scripting they've ever they ever did in the original show. Oh, I know why they did the tail that way. You remember your your original Megazord? You always have to lift up on the tail. You'd have to wow. You'd have to unpeg your tail. Hmm. That's different. I suppose that works. No, it doesn't work, and I'll show you why in a moment here. I'm not, I'm not going to yell at Bandai America for it, but that doesn't work for me. But one of the things... You know, anyways, you always had to unlatch the tail. Jesus. How's that hook? Oh, uh, wow. That's a real crotch-grabbing tab they have on there. Holy crap. You had to unhook the tail, right? Let's see. Can you guys even see? Yeah, you had to unhook the tail. You, you just had to bring it up a little bit. You just, you just had to just click, and it was done, so that the tail wouldn't scratch along the bottom. With this one, you don't have to worry about that, although his tail is rather small. So, mm. wait, did I just... Nope, okay. Click. Something else. Um, the Triceratops, while the... Well, the Triceratops tail could always, it could fold over, and then it had the turret here. This was nice to swivel free, but everybody complained about it, including me. You couldn't set it up, you couldn't set the turret upright, because it very clearly was like this in the show. And it didn't do it. So, yeah. I mean, it, 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 
snap, snap, that's a lovely sound by the way, and it feels solid too. But just, eh, I don't know. Like the Saber 2 Tiger is weird, it was like, is that an anti-aircraft gun? What is that? I don't know. And by the way, these don't snap to any higher or lower positions, they just kind of, oh wait, do they? Oh. Okay, they do kind of, they kind of hesitate right there. So, um, they hesitate. But again, no wheel there, and they painted the wheels on there. Lazy. Fucking lazy. No excuse, Bandai America. No excuse. You call it the Legacy Megazord. It's 15 years and up. You don't think people are going to know the difference at this point? Don't tell me that 15 years of age was there only because it has die-cast metal in it, okay? Don't feed me that bullshit line. Hmm. That's the same. Is this going to pop off? No, it will not. This will not come off. That's good. It means I can put more force in it. I think. It's a little loose, but it was in the original one as well. No biggie. For the longest time, for the longest time, I thought that the cannons, the thunder cannons, the shoulders were always angled like this. It actually wasn't until recently I realized they're actually supposed to always be out like this. I did not know that. Click. Oh, these puny ass little cannons. My god, I feel like I'm going to break those things. Uh. Yes, I'm going to do this joke. Yes, I'm going to do this joke. Series 4 de atomizer. Noisy cricket. No, okay, no, look, uh, man, you get a Series 4 de atomizer, I get this little midget kid cricket thing, whoa, kid. Well, kid. They're going to break this damn thing. One of the greatest cinematic weapons ever that goes up up there with the BFG 9000 from Doom. <laughs> and the portal gun, yes. I read a top ten, and the noisy cricket was 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 up there. So. Noisy cricket, god damn, very sonophil, ladies and gentlemen. How does this work? Oh, I see. Okay. You see, that's the nice thing about these to about the uh, megazords of the past, Super Sentai combiners of the past, is that you actually have to think about what you're doing. You know, it's not just plug and play. The, like the, the the Triceratops was the simplest one, Pterodactyl was the simple the second simplest one. All the others, you actually have to think about what you're doing. You had to think about the saber toothed tiger's teeth that they didn't get that chrome scratched up on them. You actually had to think about that. Now you have to think about those wheels that aren't wheels getting scratched up. Yeah, I'm getting crotchety old man syndrome at age thirty. Keep that in mind for you guys. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the attack tank mode. Without wheels, of course. Or was said or as was said in the book Deception Point, without wax. Hmm. Looks about the same. And yes, the Mastodon's head does look like it's just kind of attached on there. Doesn't isn't really integrated. It does have kind of a... <sighs> before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, the, the post for the, the Mastodon shield did have to be that long so they could get around the fingers, the, the non-posable fingers of the Megazord's hand. So it did actually have to have that reach on it. But you kind of wish it was a little more solidly in there or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing that it, it takes that much effort to, to peg this thing in and pull it out. I'm not sure. I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to play as much with this thing as I did with the original one just because, well, there's 20 years of nostalgia in that thing. 
But anyways, the Megazord sequence has been initiated. How am I doing for time? Oh, I got another half hour on the disk. Cool. It's not a disk, it's, uh, what is it? Two megabytes or whatever? Two, two megabyte, two gigabyte, whatever that thing is. God, that tail! Snaps into his crotch so hard. Jesus. It's kind of interesting the way the knee system worked in there. I, I kind of wish it had that this had actually covered up this, because now his legs actually look a little too long because of that. Like, people wondered why it is they, you know, why why wasn't the joint exposed? Like, yeah, I can agree that for a knee joint, an actual knee joint, that should have been exposed. But on the other hand, it, it clearly it shows that the, the length of the leg is actually affected by that. Ah! The saber-toothed tiger's eyes are red. Nice! The originals were black. I never understood that. Good. I like that. Even in the Japanese version, they were, uh, well, is that true? Yes, they were black in the original. Even though the, the line art, whatever it is, the official artwork, they're red, but over here they are black, unquestionably. <laughs> I just... I just heard it that, 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 when I pulled those down. I'm not kidding. I just heard that. Nice and solid right there. Oh, I see. So you have to pull, you have to put the head up. Whoa. Let's see. How do you do this? Oh, you have to tilt the head up. or you ha Yeah, you have to tilt the, the skull upwards a little bit. And then reposition it. His nose is going to get scratched up. I can feel it already. Get out of there, dude. Yeah, the nose is going to get scratched up down here. I don't know which one's going to fail first. That might have been avoidable. Like, they know it could have been. They could have made this door slightly longer. And why the hell is that crotch sensor down there so long? Yes, I have to bring that up. Well, it's nice that every single dinosaur has a little diecast metal in it. The proportions are a little strange, but, but to be fair, they actually put the diecast metal right where they should have put it. And all of the diecast metal, save for the pterodactyls, of course... You gonna snap for me? Thank you. Except for the pterodactyl, all of the diecast metal is visible. Here, here, here. That's good. But again, if they put it across here... But the diecast metal for the silver thing here. Oh my god, can you imagine how awesome that would have been? That would have been amazing. To be fair, let's see, where do I start here? To be fair, this was a very boring decal right here. It really, really was. And so, to their credit, Bandai America back in 93 actually did a very good job. I, this is one of my favorite decals on the whole thing. I really, really like this decal. That was, that was actually a good change. One of the very few decals that changed that they actually got right. Oh. Does it? Nope. Oh, how is it? Could they have put a posable head in there, maybe? Eh. Well, that fits nice and tight in there for them. Of course, of course, the tighter it is for this, this vacuum plated whatever it is, this is going to get scratched up now. I'm going to have to take a file to the hand. That's going to get scratched up. Or at worst, it's going to break off the handle and you're never going to get it out of there again. Yeah, that's that's a bit of an issue. A little too tight there, Ben America. A little too tight. Hmm. How about that? 
The proportions, wow, this guy's leggy. Holy smokes. I'm trying to think of a decent anime where they have really long legs on them. Evangelion. He has really long legs, but at least the torso is nice and wide still. It's kind of one of the nice things. That's more posability than we got back in 93, although I do secretly wish that the leg of an able turned backwards. That was... That, that's one of many instances in Super Sentai history where so close, but something got in the way of it. Not physically got in the way, but just for whatever reason, they chose not to take that extra step. Like, it can't... It ratchets in the right direction, it just doesn't keep going. Or, excuse me, missed opportunity right there. That's not that's not the 2010's fault. The two, 2010 Megazord's fault. That's just is what it is. Hmm. Well, it's not the original Megazord, but it's a good representation of it. Um, I got it more. I was going to get it so that I could review it for Collection DX. I wasn't entirely thrilled about getting it, but the diecast metal kind of convinced me. It's like, yeah, it's a gimmick, and it's very, very rare to get diecast metal now nowadays. In, in in any kind of franchise, diecast metal is usually reserved for those little inner frame sections that just can't quite handle what um, just can't quite handle what. Um, plastic is able to PVC and ABS just can't handle it so they'll throw die cast metal on so it is a gimmick but in this case that's anything but a bad thing so uh, I like it you know I'll hang on to it um, you know it's kind of creepy first of all this is the first time I've ever had two Megazords in my hand at the same time that were identical to each other and B I might actually be able to display one of them in one mode and the other in the other mode. Which, I'm not one of those people. I get one, and that's it. I get doubles only because you're reviewing the the, the Bandai America version versus the, the, the Bandai Japan versions, but blah, 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 blah. And very rarely do I keep the U.S. version versus the Japanese version. Very rarely. Um, Samurai Mega Blade was the only one I kept. No! Yeah, okay. I'm running out of... Yeah, I'm running out of stuff here. So, yeah, an hour later, not bad. Not bad. Like I said, the proportions are... He's a little... He's, the legs are a little narrower. Probably because they'll let you do that. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why Bandai America designed the legs to be able to do this. It probably had something to do with it. They were either thinking kids would count this as posability, or they were thinking, we don't know what kind of combinations, what, what kind of robots we're going to be coming up with, have to come up with in the future. Let's make them narrow enough and small enough so that they, we have space to work with later on. But I don't really think that would have impacted the shape of the joint. Uh, I'm inclined to think that the, 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 octagonal, the octagon peg in there probably is... They could have gone with a square peg and then pinched it from either side with plastic tabs, which th they kind of roll already are. So, rotating thing. That Zord Builder, I don't know enough about Zord Builder. This is actually the debut of the Zord Builder system, because this was the transition period for, uh, for Power Rangers going from Disney into Saban Brands. So I don't, I don't quite know enough about that. Yeah. Nice collector's piece, and, uh, and 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 by the way, I definitely will be putting the decals on it. So, but not bad, not bad. Like they did some questionable things, but they're very very faithful to the original one, as far as how it transforms, things that you know, little detailing that goes in here. Like uh, I wish they hadn't used, I wish they had not used that swirly light gray plastic shit. They just need to make plain gray plastic, whatever. But yeah. Not bad. I like this. This is good. This is this is satisfying. For sixty-two dollars and change, it damn well better be satisfying. I'll tell you that. You know, honestly, um, I think the box might actually be worth keeping too. It's not bad. I I don't remember what they did with the two thousand ten version, but the two thousand thirteen diecast version. I like the box. It's, uh, it's actually kind of a keeper, although, on the other hand, I do like to keep the boxes, as, you know, as I mentioned previously. Ah! Ah! Yes! 
Oh, ho, 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 I love it. I love it. I called up Toys R Us Linwood um, about a month ago looking for one of these things. It's been very much in demand ever since it was announced. I'm going to say two months ago when they actually started selling the darn things. I called them up and I said, do you have any? And they said, no. I said, well, where's the nearest, nearest store? And they responded, California, which is a couple hundred miles away. And that one store in California had, get this, one. It had one Legacy Power Morpher in stock. So you expect me to drive all? You expect me to go all the way down to California? They offered to ship it, and I was like, Nah, don't bother. Maybe I should have had it shipped, but I was like, There's poor, some poor little nerd in California who wants it. I pretty much resi resigned myself to the fact that I'll never get one. But um, I went to. I got this from the Linwood store, which is poetic justice, and then I got this from the Everett store. After I had the Linwood store call up, and they, I, you know, I said, are there any stores in the area that have it? And they said, yeah, the Everett store does one. Oh, well, by, just by chance, I happen to be going to Everett. So I was like, can you call up to them? Sure. And so they put one on hold, and 20 minutes later, it was in my hands. Hell yeah. Oh. Now, funny thing, they had two of these things up there. I was sorely tempted... But considering I'd already spent $60, $62 on that one, I was going to spend another 60 on this. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad that I couldn't get this and then, like, have a giveaway or something like that. And, and to be honest, like, I really don't, I only have one of these. So, like, I kind of feel bad about that, but on the other hand, I'm sure there's some little 20-year-old nerd. Well, they have to be at least 15 years of age or minimum 24 to even know what Power Rangers is. Who's going to be looking for one of these things? So, and I am far from a scalper, ladies and gentlemen, but just, yeah. I never got the original Power Morpher. I wanted to. Um, it, it, it was it was kind of neat. But, uh, unfortunately, I can't compare it. Um, I do want to get the, um, what was it, the, the Power Gun Sword. I do want to get that still. Because, you know, it, I, I like the roleplay weapons once in a while. The roleplay stuff, once in a while it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Or I should say, sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't work for me. So, vast majority of the time, Power Rangers, Super Sentai, I don't pay attention to the roleplay. But the, the Power Morpher actually was pretty interesting. So, hmm. Yeah, I got me a Legacy Morpher. <laughs> So I got me a Deluxe Megazord and a Morpher in the same day. How awesome would it have been nah, if the two could talk to each other? No, they've probably done that. that, that that's probably biting off more than I could chew. Oh, now, now, they, now they go with the plastic. Now they go with the plastic packaging. you got to be kidding me. Uh. God, this is heavy. It's so heavy they had to put cardboard supports on the inside. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, I wonder, is it? Is it? No, oh, they ruined it. Uh, instruction. How to play. No, 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 no. Not bad, not bad. It's kind of a freaky effect right there. It's kind of awesome. I'm kind of wondering right now if I should uh, do a scan of this and put it on the video. Eh, you don't need to see the instructions. You already know how this thing works. And, yeah, by the way, you already know how this thing works. Let me see if I got this straight. They'll make a window box for the Legacy Morpher, but they won't make one for the original Megazord? Hmm. 
it's nice that this is not that flimsy, flexible PVC shit that we've been getting for, you know, the last five, six years. It's not, it's, it's actually solid. And a 2012. Interesting. And the choir sang out. Die cast metal. Bad America, you could not have chosen a better way. Like, giving us die cast metal in the original Megazord, that's great. But a completely new version of the Power Morpher with die cast metal. You, Banda, you have no idea what you bit off when you did that, okay? Like, like seriously, you guys have no idea what you did when you did that. I actually had a chance to handle the original Power Morpher. Uh, but it was second hand and it was missing some stuff. Gosh, it details lovely. I've heard people complaining about the uh, the screw holes. Screw you. I think the only one that's only just like you could justifiably complain about is maybe that one. Two, one point five volt LR forty four batteries right there already provided by the way. You know, I wonder if this is designed to adult proportions rather than kid proportions, because this actually fits pretty doggone well. I can actually, I can fit my, like, I've got a, whoa. Oh, that's right, because, yeah, if you push on the back here, it spits out the buckle. God, these are die-cast metal. <laughs> that's great. That's great. I love that. The Tyrannosaurus was ferocious looking thing. Okay, how do you get it back in? Aha, you push on the button on the back and there's two pegs here that push out. They're real tiny, but they are there. Sound effects. Thus. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Excuse me, I'm gonna be very impersonal for a moment here. Gosh, how do you hold this thing? You hold it like this? I don't think so. Yeah, because if I put my fingers in like this, I might accidentally push the button. Nope, that's a fluke. <coughs> it's morphin' time! Oh, fail! My thumb can't reach. Let's try this again. It's morphin' time! Boy, my thumb is really having a hard time reaching the, the thing. I'm going to have to hold this the other way. I don't... Here's the thing, though. I don't think that a smaller hand would actually be able to reach it, because my thumb is longer than a kid's thumb. This might actually be an issue. How the hell do you hold this thing? Okay, it's a little better. It looks like, it looks like I can only put three fingers in. So, it is one-to-one -one scale. No doubts there. But it looks like even then, just so I can get my finger close, let's see, maybe I can, yeah, okay, so my pinky has to be on the outside, so I have to hold it like this, and then squeeze off to the right as much as possible. Okay, third time's the charm? Third time what? It's morphin time!
sound like I'm listening to the 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 song on the Super Nintendo. You know, it's that kind of 8-bit version, or 6-bit, 4-bit version, whatever it is. That's what it sounds like. together how about that good for them I thought that each half with it would have been independent God, that's lovely look at that and there's a little bit of overlap in there's a little bit of overlap between like like the lower half here actually over overlays a little bit of edge on there too that's fantastic And the speaker is on the front, too. The speaker is behind the coin. struggling with the bass. It's struggling with the bass. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. So the question is, how do you display this thing? Do you display it with one power coin? Or do you display it with all of them? Like, do you all set them all up in a row? kind of unnecessary. I would think with this little plastic cover that would be enough. Which was taped in, but no, they had to put plastic clip... Anyways. You know, I remember the... in Power Rangers The Movie, these black kind of lightning bolt areas here, or whatever they were in Jew Ranger, uh, each of those... or no, was it... was it the black areas here, or was it the circular thing? Anyways, uh... Somewhere in here, the Red Ranger had the red-colored version, then the Blue Ranger had the blue-colored version, Black Ranger had the black-colored version, and so on down the line. I wonder if they could have done that with the LEDs... Um, with the LEDs on the inside. Or LED, LEC, LCD? Yeah, LED. So that when you morph... It w depending on the, the... I almost said the crystal, the gem... The coin, depending on the coin that you had on the inside, it would have had a different color on the inside. That would have been kind of interesting. I wonder if they could have done that. I already mentioned this to um, Zeltrax Millennium. I mentioned to him that the what the the I, I know I'm well known for complaining in my videos. Believe it or not, it's not always me just complaining just to complain. It's usually a case of me knowing that something could have been done that was better, and oftentimes co me complaining about things that were stupid choices is usually what I complain about, especially when it comes to Power Ranger toys. Um, oh gosh, the stories I could tell. But one of the things I mentioned to Zeltrax Millennium was in, and other people as well, is that I wish that the tra that's just kind of a sound and that's it. You know, it's not a it's not the morph sound. Or the or you know the the lightning bolt comes down and then you hear and then you, and then you see the Rangers you see the you see the the rangers, or the, was it the, 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 the surround with the actor's face would get closer to the screen, and then you see, it, 
and then that was it. But this doesn't do that. It's just kind of and that's it. 